least common multiple. So what is a multiple? The multiples of a number are what you get when you multiply it by other numbers, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So what are the multiples of 5? Basically, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and so on. These are all multiples of 5. If I said, well, what are the multiples of, oh, let's say, 7? Well, the multiples of 7 are 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28, and so on. What is a common multiple? When you list the multiples of two or more numbers, and find the same value in both lists, then that is a common multiple of those numbers. So what is the common multiple of 4 and 20? So first let's write the multiples of 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28, and we could keep going. The multiples of 20 are 20 times 1 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, 20 times 3 is 60, but I can stop there because I notice that 20 is in both of my lists. So 20 is a common multiple of 4 and 20. What is the least common multiple? It is simply the smallest of the common multiples. Find the least common multiple for 2, 8, and 12. So for 2, let's write our common multiple. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, and I'm going to stop there. I might have to go further, but for now that's enough. The multiples of 8 are 8. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40, and I'm going to stop there. Let's do 12. Well, 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, and I'm going to stop there. The number that is the smallest in all of them well, I notice that there's an 8 in these two, but guess what? There isn't an 8 here, so 8 wouldn't be my least common multiple. It actually turns out to be this guy, 24, 24, and 24. So the least common multiple for 2, 8, and 12 is 24. Finding the least common multiple using prime factorization. I like to use prime factorization to find it, and I think it's a little easier than to write all the multiples out. So let me show you. First, we're going to write a factor tree for all of our numbers. Well, the prime factorization for 2 is just 2. The prime factorization for 8 is 2 times 4. 2 is prime, so I circle it. 4 is 2 times 2. So I circle all of my prime numbers, and I'm done with 8. We're going to go to 12, and 12, I'm just going to use 3 times 4. It doesn't matter what you use. 3 is prime. 4 is 2 times 2, and these are both prime. Okay. The next step is to write them on top of each other. So 2 is just 2. 8, well, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 
So if I have any common multiples, I'm going to write them on top of each other. And I'm going to stick these two on the end. Now remember, these still have to multiply to 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Let's do 12. Well, I have a couple 2's here. So 2 times 2, now I'm pairing them up. And then I have this goofy 3, so he's going to hang on the end here because I can't pair him with 2 because 3's and 2's aren't the same. Now I'm going to make circles straight up and down. I'm going to make circles, even if there's just one number there, it doesn't matter, I have to count it. So this gets a 2. This one gets a 2. This one gets a 2 and this one gets a 3. Now you notice that each little bubble only gets one number. It's interesting because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. And you just found your least common multiple using prime factorization. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.